The international break is coming to a close. Manchester United will be playing Brentford this weekend and the United Twins need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. We kind of took a light break during these two weeks after dropping looking for answers. Check that out, by the way, if you haven't heard it. Once I told me patience, the other is out and asking for fate to push for a flip of a coin. Calling for heads to gather on top of a stake. What can he do to plan an escape? Sells a weight for sanity's sake. He's caught the manager's plague. Circles running around and begging for me. Quality content in my honest opinion. But moving on from that, where do we even start? The converse surrounding Eric Ten Hag's future being decided in a meeting that really didn't result in much except for the realisation later on that an immortal club legend would be axed from his ambassadorial role. Hey, hey. That legend being Manchester United's greatest manager ever, Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, quickly on Ten Hag, I feel like it was something that I mentioned prior, but I never had the feeling that Ineos were going to press the trigger and, and think of that what you will. I know there's a lot of discomfort around the fan base at this moment because questions around our relatively new partial owners are arising. Whether that was the correct decision, whether it was correct to keep the Dutchman in the summer. <laughs> it's also a natural thing to now question the recruitment after our start to this season. I'll remain firm on feeling positive about the summer, not just from a transfer policy perspective, but the internal changes to our board. Concerns I, I did have mainly came when we signed another young forward instead of an experienced one given the fact that this team may have benefited from having a more accomplished player spearheading our attack at times with quality also and the left back position was a glaring hole too knowing that both options at the club are still out Malassi is apparently close to returning were they missteps or calculated moves in accordance to a long-term plan Another thing that seems to be ramping up at the wrong time, again, are injuries. Players currently out, or at least doubts, Luke Shaw and Terrell Malassi, as mentioned before, Yeleni Yoro, Nusei Masrawi had to have a minor procedure done after experiencing heart palpitations. I read up earlier today about him having heart issues back in the previous 2022 World Cup, so it was something that had to be taken seriously. But a full recovery is expected as soon as early November. Mason Mount still hasn't set the world on fire in a United shirt. He's out. Alejandro Garnacho didn't represent Argentina this break, I believe, because he had been nursing a knee injury. Harry Maguire, calf strain, I believe. Manuel Ugarte recently was forced off with a what was it, muscle injury yeah. against Ecuador and to round up all of our midfield nightmares. Kobe Mainu now will be out for the next few weeks confirmed by Manchester United. And in his case, you can see a sense of sluggishness from the beginning of the campaign and it makes you question whether there is a problem or other factors playing a part. It's integral not to run a player like Kobe into the ground. It's integral not to run the entire squad into the ground. It seems many players have suffered from such a thing in recent years at Manchester United and it doesn't lead to better results, just detrimental effects long term. I've noticed the, the mention of rotation by Eric Ten Hag this campaign in the form of mid-game or, or late-game substitutions, but it is difficult to navigate such a tight schedule, mixed in with international commitments, which is getting ridiculous, by the way, and then factoring in the problems this club has been dealt with in terms of keeping first-team players fit. Something that still lacks improvement, despite a reported audit in the back end of 2023 by Gary O'Driscoll, United's relatively new uh, head of sports medicine, leading to changes in the summer, I believe, once Ineos came into power. So the final thing is, Brentford this weekend at Old Trafford. Y you know what, Cappy, what's the vibe check for this one? Do you think you're going to ask? You don't see ever uh, emotionless, opinionless right now. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. Heading into Manchester United games thinking the worst or not thinking at all. And, and that isn't by design. Thomas Frank's side are currently three places uh, above us in the table in 11th. Snapped their three-game winner streak in the league. And a crazy game against Wolves. Five goals scored on their part. But as good as they have been at the GTEC community this campaign, away from home is where their problems lie. Three losses, seven of the 13 goals they've conceded thus far have been away. And to be fair, having Liverpool, City and Spurs in those fixtures will tell part of the story. 
United, well, we know the story. Worst start to a Premier League campaign in back-to-back -back seasons. Winless now in our last five games in all competitions. Four draws and a devastating defeat in between. While we did score three at Porto, goals have been hard to come by and performances have looked and felt uninspired no matter the location. Reverting to the same old really and with the injury bug kicking in again, experiences of hard times might outdo what Dusty Rose had to endure. If you know, you know, I, I can't even give a prediction for this one, to be honest. I'll leave it to everyone in the comments. Tea time, UK. Get your score predictions in and enjoy the game. It, it will be a, a test against Brentford. A high energy side that will look to take the game to you at times. Unfortunately for them, they are missing a few other key players. Rico Henry, Johan Wissa, who's Mr. Reliable for them up front. And perhaps some returnees soon as well. So we'll see. Let us know what you thought about this video. If you've reached the very end, just a like catch up really. Sharing our individual and group thoughts on interesting topics. In terms of the team, we, we all support. No doubt about it. Things will have to pick up. But I, and I'm sure Cappy can't guarantee or even see that happening with everything that's going around right now. Confidence in success is low. But like I said, or like I asked earlier, this will be an interesting conversation in the comments too. Are, are we as fans of this club setting the bar too high perhaps? And will there have to be more leniency and patience in accordance to whatever the plan is? Even in that case, be, be transparent about what you want to do and what fans should expect. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. And also it is extremely hard to believe with all the investments thus far that Manchester United ceiling even at times of adversity at this moment should be any lower than a top six finish and right now we are severely underachieving as always let's wait and see because important games are coming up but frankly every single game <laughs> is important in the context of this season and Facts. how we've started Facts. so make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and share to your friends and frenemies. Look out for our reaction as always after the game. Probably the morning after. Should be out on Sunday. And until the next time. We'll see you lot. See you now.